Good morning. I was just out there, and yeah, it's fucking cloud cover again today, so there ain't nothing I can do about that, so it is what it is, so what a bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I want to see this thing, so anyway, and uh, major news and stuff like that, Trump doesn't think that uh, Kim Jong-un is going to possibly start rebuilding, you know what I mean, uh, nukes and stuff like that. He, he said he'd be greatly surprised if this happens. Yeah, yeah, we all know that's bullshit. We all know Kim's going to rebuild this shit. We all know that, you know, right now he's got, what does he got, like six Hawsong 15s. You know it and I know it that he's going to build bigger and meaner fucking ICBMs and he's going to continue on with his ICBM testing. Now, there were reports yesterday of a 2.1 magnitude earthquake that struck in a mining town. So, not far from uh, Pyongyang, Pyongyang, or whatever, whatever you want to call this town, so, Pyongyang, the capital of Kim Jong-un, anyway, they're, they're uh, detonating fucking bombs over there and stuff like that, so, he likes briefcase bombs, because he, you know, so he always fears for his safety and stuff like that, so he always thinks that, uh, you know, the best way to assassinate somebody, you know what I mean, is with a briefcase bomb. The guy's crazy like that, dude. He's hardcore. He killed his fucking brother with fucking, uh, with two chicks. They put, uh, VX gas in his face, dude. Killed his ass, dude. He was, he was his younger, he was, uh, no, not his younger brother, his older brother, but he used to travel and stuff like that all over the world and all over, from country to country and stuff like that, you know, learning different different ways about uh, the world and stuff like that, how the world worked, and uh, little Trump didn't, and uh, little Kim didn't like that too much, and little Kim had him assassinated, dude, because Kim wanted to take, he wanted to be the ruler, he wanted all the power, dude, see, so he's just, he's corrupt as all fuck, dude, so, yeah, so, anyway, I don't know, China thought it'd be a good idea to take one of their fucking destroyers and ram into a fucking Vietnamese fishing vessel overnight. Poor fishermen, all fishermen, all five fishermen made it made it safely out of there, I think. Well, it said that they came up to the side of the boat, so they were right next to, uh, you know, in the South China Sea. Uh, the name of the reef was, uh, it was called the, the Discovery Reef. So the Discovery Reef is where they were, uh, where they were boat was fucking rammed. So the China, the China's not fucking around in there, dude. And they're, that's their area. That's what they've claimed. That, you know, this is my reef. These are my islands. So this is why Trump's always fucking with them and stuff like that by bringing over B-52s and, uh, and destroyers and stuff like that. Just pretty much telling Xi Jinping to go fuck himself. You know what I mean? You don't own the ocean, so... You just don't. So it is what it is, you know. I mean, he thinks it's his ancient waters or something like that. I don't fucking know. He also thinks the Taiwan is his too. So, and Taiwan's a sovereign nation, dude. They 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 want their independence, and that's it. They don't want to be governed by communism. I wouldn't either, dude. Because uh, Taiwan's doing a lot better right now, and I'm proud of Taiwan, dude. I think Taiwan's a great country. So. They, need, they just want their independence so anyway okay well I love you all I'm gonna let you guys go and stuff like that so like I said if there's if the clouds uh, start breaking later today I'll go out there and check and stuff like that so hopefully nothing major happens in the news today but as of right now Trump thinks that Kim Jong-un will never restart his program bullshit Yo, bullshit, dude. So we all know, like I said, we all know that's all bullshit. Dude. He's gonna, he's gonna restrain these motherfuckers. He's gonna come up with the Ha Song 25 or some shit. You know what I mean? That can fucking go all the way. They can go all the way and you know and strike any part of the U.S. Because the ones he has right now can strike about halfway into the U.S. So. I saw different reports on it and stuff like that. I saw different reports. I saw reports that the missiles could strike Washington, D.C. I saw reports that that the uh, 
that if you put the nuke on there, the nuke actually weighs 666 pounds, 666, on the Hawsong 15. That's how, that's the weight of it. Isn't that ironic? Well, anyway, if you put the weight of the nuke on this thing, then it, it won't travel as far. It will only go about, you know what I mean, maybe to like Minneapolis or something like that. It wouldn't travel as far as they, they all thought. But I'm sure that, I'm sure since then he's been working on his, uh, little calibrations and stuff like that on his missiles to try to see if he can give him a little bit more oomph you know what i mean because you need more oomph it's either that or you need a new missile so i'm sure i'm sure he's not fucking wrong i'm sure he's not wasting any time dude he's he's right on it he's he is so close to developing one that that could strike anywhere in the u.s to complete his dream in his father's dream to hate the u.s and to strike anywhere in the u.s that he deemed fit so but if you do so, and you do do that, you do know that you will die and your whole country will die. So this is why I don't think this will ever happen. He's just going to keep building up his shit, and that's it. He's just a dictator, and that's it. So so that's how you have to stay in power, dude. You have to you have, to have ultimate reign, and you, you have to have weapons that nobody wants to touch you. That's how dictators stay in power, so... We'll see what happens in the near future, in the coming days and stuff like that. But I don't think, I don't think Trump's right on this one. I think, I think Trump's an idiot. So I may get a thumbs down for that, but I don't really care. Say, be surprised, surprise my ass. All right, love y'all.